Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing something different. So my very first video, I actually showed you all a little snippet of my add-on. Now, in this video, it's going to be a bit different. I didn't actually show this in my uh, video, but there's a feature that is something similar to this, and I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys how to make something like this. And uh, it is actually a GUI, and a uh, also custom commands. So I'm going to be teaching you how you can actually do this yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm actually going to go here to new file, and after we do that, we're going to search up game test. Now, in order to get this to be enabled, you need to make sure you have experimental gameplay turned on in Bridge V2, or this file type will not pop up. So after you do that, just give your file a name. So we're just going to call it a uh, test. So after you call it that, just go ahead and create it. And now what we're going to do is we should have something like this. So after we have this, you're just going to make sure you're going to want to add this into the thing. So I just have a quick copy and paste. I'll leave the link in the description for it because uh, I don't, I'm not really going to remember this um, at all. So I just have like a little copy so I can remember it, um, this easily, I guess. And uh, anyways, after you have this, this will basically make it to where the UI actually can work. And same for the custom commands. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. So let's just go space. Let's... Let's just space down to, I guess, and let's just start um, making this. So for custom commands, you're going to do world dot events, and you're going to do dot before chat, and then dot subscribe. After you do that, you're going to want to do this twice. And then in this one, you're going to want to do event data, and then right here, in between the two, just press enter. And now you should have something like this. Now I'm going to do equal sign, and also I think it's the less sign. I don't remember which one it is, and I might be wrong. So anyways, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. Anyways, now that we have this, you're going to want to make sure this is right here. So now that we have that, all we're going to do is actually set this up. So we're going to do if, and we're going to do event data dot message, and then equals equals, and then we're just going to put the name. So we're going to put, um, we're just going to put a uh, spawn or something. Something very generic. And uh, this would basically make it to where we can actually, you know, um, teleport. We're going to make it to where teleports us. So after we have this, you're going to want to do this again. And now what we're going to do is actually just do event data. And then dot sender. And then you're going to want to do run command. And then you can just put in your command right now. So I'm on, I'm just going to make it to where it does execute at s. And then place sound note dot bass. Now that we have this, we're actually going to tell, we're going to copy and paste this a couple times. Okay, so for this one, we're actually going to make it to where it just says, say, um, you have been teleported to spawn. Now that we have that, all we have to do is make it to our teleports. So we're, gonna, we're just going to do TP and I guess 20 and then I guess 10. It doesn't really matter what you do, you can make this whatever you want. You can even set this um, for something in your own custom server or whatever you want. But it doesn't really matter. Anyways, now that we have this, as you can see, uh, this is really all you need for this. And basically, this is all you need um, for this. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. And uh, as you can see, you now have a custom command. Now, I actually forgot to do something, so make sure you don't you don't forget this. Do event data dot cancel and then equals true. You're gonna want to make sure you have this, or your thing will not work. Anyways, uh, anyways, after you have this, um, you're just gonna want to save it and actually test it. And uh, now, to actually make the custom GUI, what we're gonna do. Is just do world dot events and then dot before item use dot subscribe event data. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna do equal sign less than and then just you're gonna want to make sure you do this again. Basically the same thing up here almost, except you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure it says before item use. And now what you're gonna do is just do let item equals and then I think you're gonna do uh, event data the item and then you're going to do let player equals event data and then dot source and now that you have that 
we're just going to do if, and then we're just going to do, so, okay, I'm trying to think of what we did. Okay, so if item dot id is equals to tornado item, which is the item I'm going to be using. Actually, you know what? We're going to actually make it something different. We're going to do a Minecraft and then a cookie. I'm just going to do a vanilla item, I guess. Works a lot better, probably. Because you can actually, like, eat it, and you're basically just right-clicking it, so it's actually way easier to do this. Anyways, if item ID equals equals Minecraft cookie, what you're going to do now is just do this, and now all you have to do is just do player dot run command. No, not, yeah, run command. And then just do play sound. And then note dot pling at s. And now, this is how we're actually going to make the UI pop up. The GUI, or guy, whatever. Whatever one you want to call it. UI, guy, I don't really care. Anyways, what we're going to do now is actually just make it to where it does this. And now, it should look something like that. And now, as you can see, we put this down. But as you can see, it isn't actually, uh, this isn't actually um, anywhere on here. So what you're going to do is actually just do this. So just do that. And then just move this like right here. We're going to move this like very close to each other. And now after you have something like this, all you're going to do is uh, actually create a function called sf and then player. And it should look something like this. Kind of similar to what you put right here. And it can be any name you want. It does not have to be sf. Anyways, now that we have that, what we're going to do is actually create the function. So what we need to do is actually do const form equals new. And then I think we need to do yeah, action form data. Now that we have that, we're just going to put this right at the C instead of the T. So now that we have that, we're going to do form.body. And basically, this is like a description for your actual GUI. So what we're going to do for this is something very simple and not too complicated. So what we're going to do for this is just do this is a test a test GUI for YouTube. So that will be our description. And we can have something else right here called form.title. And then you can just have a title for it. We could just call it um, GUI test build or something very simple, I guess. And then we can just do form dot button. And all we have to do is just make the button have a name. So this button is going to make it to where it actually teleport, not teleport, just um, actually gives us diamonds. So um, I'm just going to do give diamonds. So now that we have that, we're going to do another form and dot show. So this one needs to be player right here. And then dot then. And then after you dot then, it needs to be actually this, I think. It needs to be a um, end or just something, I guess. Very simple. And Oh, oh no, it did not work out. Okay, end. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to rename it to end. I guess because I don't want it to, to do anything else. Anyways, you're just going to do the same steps, pretty much as the other thing. And uh, it should look something like this. So now that you have this, what you're going to actually do is after you have all these right here, um, you're going to want to do an if statement. So if, and then you're going to want to do end um, dot selection equals equals zero. And you can do three equal signs or just two. It doesn't really matter. And if it is zero, then what you need to do is just actually make it to where it does player dot run command and then all we're gonna do is just do give at s um, diamonds diamond 64 so now as you can see this should be pretty much what it is and actually we're gonna do 16 so each time you press the button it gives you 16 diamonds so anyways um now that we have that what we're gonna do is actually just move all this down here so here and also here. So now that we have that, just go ahead and remove those ones. And now we should have something like this. 
and it should not be too complicated. But as you can see, it's right here. So what we're going to do is actually just move this one to the very end. And now you should have a um, functioning um, custom command and also a functioning GUI. So let's just go ahead and save it. So we're going to do save as. And then as you can see, if we go here to desktop and we go to Tornado B and we just go to our scripts, game tests, we can save this as test. So as you can see, there we go. And now it is saved. Now, one other important step is when we go in scripts, we need to go to main.js, which is our main script that makes it to where we can actually run the other scripts. And we actually need to make sure we import the new script into this. So we're just going to call this test. And as you can see, if we now go in the game, it should be working. Okay, I'm back in the game. And now we're actually going to test if our script is working. So I'm hoping that our script is actually functioning properly, and we can actually use our custom command, and we can actually use our custom GUI. So it might not work, who knows, we have to test it, and if it doesn't, that is fine, because it should not take long to fix. But anyways, let's just go ahead and see if we can figure this out and actually make sure it works. Okay, so anyways, what we're going to do first is actually test out our custom uh, command, which is the first thing that we should do. So anyways, let's just go ahead and see if this works. So if we, if we just do spawn, it actually works. And it says you have been teleported to spawn. So as you can see, it is functioning for the custom command. And that was our first try. So that is very good. And we know it is working properly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually try a cookie. And a cookie, if we right click it, should now open a GUI. As you can see, it does. So yeah, uh, make sure you use this on, the, if you're using a vanilla item, I recommend using it on food, just because if you use it on anything else, it will not work. But anyways, as you can see, it says GUI test build. This is a test GUI for YouTube. Give diamonds. And as you can see, I got my 16 diamonds. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It works very well. And uh, yeah, you can make a lot of cool things using this method. So if you remember the Hive's old GUI, they actually did something similar to this um, for their actual uh, mini games and also like their lobby. They had something similar to this, and uh, it used the same concept. It used a similar concept, pretty much. And uh, yeah, it's not that difficult to actually make one um, for yourself, a custom GUI or a custom command. So um, hopefully this video did actually help you out. And if it didn't, that's okay. I might make more videos in the future. And uh, yeah, anyways... Hopefully you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, navigation bell, and I do plan on actually making a new series on this channel. I plan on doing a lot of things with this channel. But anyways, uh, hopefully you did enjoy, see you all in the next video, goodbye everyone.